So we'll talk about another um, surgery today, and this is what we call the explorative, explore, exploratory laparotomy. All right, some people call it what explorative. So that was the name I was actually trying to call at first. Okay, so exploratory laparotomy. Some people call it what exploratory, exploratory, explorative laparotomy. Okay. And this can be done for treatment or it could be done for diagnosis. And let me tell you guys, this surgery just has to do with what? Opening up your stomach, all right? And trying to explore. That's what they say, exploratory. So it could be that uh, the patient actually what? Complain of generalized abdominal pain. And it is generalized. You can see that it's generalized. So you have to. The only option to basically see what is wrong is to open the abdomen in the middle, okay, and explore. Find out about any abnormalities in the stomach, right? So under this surgery, we'll be talking about uh, the definition. Um, we're talking about the uses. Um, okay, talking about the procedure, right? The procedure, right? Procedure on talking about the benefits, talking about the risks and complications for the surgery. Okay, so talk, uh, let's move, let's move. We said that the exploratory uh, laparotomy or explorative, like some people call it, is a surgical procedure where a large incision is made in the abdomen wall to inspect the abdominal cavity and its contents. Okay, so it is often performed as a diagnostic tool. So you see. Large opening, open everything like that, right? So um, it's often performed as a diagnosis tool to what identify the cause of what abdominal pain or trauma, dictate and repair injuries or damage to organs or blood vessels. Okay, you dictate and repair injuries or damage to organs and blood vessels. Then uh, you're also doing this to if there's a cancer in the abdomen, you're trying to stage it. All right, this cancer is at what stage? This cancer is at what stage? And all the stuff, okay? So you stage cancer and determine the extent of the disease, right? So you are doing it to locate and remove foreign objects and device. This type of surgery is like, I could call it a blind type of surgery. You don't actually know what is wrong with the patient. So you have to basically open them up. And anything you see is anything you see. You understand? Then um, you're also doing this to perform biopsies or get some tissues, get some tissue samples, all right? You can see this is the exploratory what, um, exploratory what, laparotomy, and you see you put, basically put a retractor ring to hold back, right? Hold back everything, hold it open to you because human beings can't hold it, all right? So you put this sterile stuff there to hold everything, okay? So you boil, explore. It's like you're going on an, ad an adventure. So you're exploring to just see anything that is wrong, okay? So during the procedure, a large inc uh, uh, incision is uh, made in the abdominal wall. The abdominal cavity is explored visually and manually with your hands. You explore like, okay, the intestines are supposed to be like this. What is wrong? The pancreas is supposed to be like this. What is wrong? The gallbladder is supposed to be like this. Is anything wrong? The lungs is supposed to be like this. Is anything wrong? You explore for any abnormality, okay? So organ and tissues are inspected for damage and disease conditions. That's the abnormalities I've been talking about. Um, repair and resections are performed as needed. So you are going in there, you don't know what is wrong. But anything you see, then you got to repair it, okay? Incision is closed. That's after doing all this, and you suture or you staple, all right? So exploratory laparotomy may be performed as an emergency procedure in cases of trauma or acute abdominal pain or as a planned procedure for diagnostic purposes. As you can see, there's a midline, ex midline incision. So massive uh, bleeding identified in peritoneal cavity and clots can be removed from the right upper quadrant all four quadrants are packed right rearrange everything <laughs> don't go for exploratory laparotomy and you 
not rearrange everything because that can result to what a fistula. That can lead to an abnormal communication between the intestines and the skin. And as I'm talking to you, I have a patient that they did the surgery on her. She developed what enterocutaneous fistula. And that enterocutaneous fistula has now complicated to what ex, uh, enteroatmospheric fistula. Her whole abdomen is outside. So you don't want to actually get someone to that condition, right? Okay, so moving. I will say that what are the benefits of what exploratory laparotomy? The benefits include uh, accurate diagnosis and treatment of abdominal condition. Of course, you have abdominal pain, let's open it up. We must see the cost there. Do you understand? Then there's, there could be identification and repair of injuries or damage. There could be improved patient outcomes in emergency situations, right? Uh, there will be ability to perform biopsies and tissue sampling, right? Exploratory laparotomy, right? So, however, the procedure carries risks and complications such as what you are opening the stomach, you are exposing it to the atmosphere, so there could be infection. Of course, you're causing a you are causing a lot of blood vessels and even nerves. Okay, so there'll be bleeding, could lead to what sensation loss too. Okay, could lead to pain. Right, adhesions. Yeah, during the surgery, you might give anesthesia, but what about after the surgery? Okay, adhesions, there could be intestinal obstructions and there could be wound complications. Okay, uh, you should know that what uh, minimally invasive procedures such as what laparoscopy have largely replaced exploratory or laparotomy for diagnostics and therapeutic purposes. This is still in use though, right. Uh, when um, when um, the cost is not known, all right? We we'll spoke about what the uses, the definition, the procedure, benefits, risks and complications, all right? So that's it. Bye for now.